What time is the super blue moon of 2023? To see this super moon, sky watchers are going to want to get their timing just right on August 30th. The next full moon will rise on Wednesday, August 30th, and it will be one of the brightest and largest moons of 2023. The term blue moon has nothing to do with color, but since the 1940s has commonly referred to the second of two full moons that fall in a calendar month. Thus, Wednesday's full moon is defined as a blue moon because it is the second full moon of August. Just like August's first full moon, the sturgeon moon on August 1st, the blue moon will also be a supermoon, meaning it will occur during a period when the moon is closer to the Earth, making it appear almost imperceptibly larger in the sky. According to In the Sky, the super blue moon will rise just after sunset at 7.10 p.m. EDT, 23.10 GMT on Wednesday from the eastern horizon. This will not be when it is at its biggest and brightest, however. The exact moment of full moon is defined as the point at which it is 180 degrees from the sun, completely opposite our star in the sky over Earth. For this year's blue moon, the moon will be opposite the sun at 9.36 p.m. EDT on Wednesday, August 30th, 0336 on August 31st, according to NASA. At this time, it will be in the constellation of Aquarius. The blue moon will then set on Thursday just before the sun rises at around 6.46 a.m. EDT, 10.46 GMT. As explained above, a blue moon is commonly classified as the second full moon of a single calendar month, although it technically refers to the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. Full moons occur around 12.4 times a year, and that means that every 2.8 years, a 12-month period has 13 full moons. Thus, one of those months will have to accommodate two full moons and, thus, has a blue moon. Because the moon's cycle takes 29.5 days to go from one full moon to the next, that means this month saw the full sturgeon moon at the start of the month and a second, the blue moon at the end of the month. Not all blue moons are supermoons like the full moon of August 30th, however. A supermoon occurs when a full moon falls during a period when the moon is closer to Earth. This happens because the moon's orbit around our planet isn't circular, but rather elliptical, like a flattened circle or an oval. That means there are times in the moon's orbit when it is farther away, at apogee, and times when it is closer, at perigee. The distance between Earth and the moon during perigee and apogee ranges from around 220,000 miles, 350,000 kilometers, to 253,000 miles, 408,000 kilometers a difference of around 14%. Despite this disparity in Earth-Moon distance, there isn't a huge difference in how the Moon actually looks in the sky during a standard full Moon and during a supermoon. The Moon may appear slightly larger and brighter during a supermoon, but this will be imperceptible to anyone except those sky watchers who have significant experience observing the Moon. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video.